Hi, I'm Sonia, Intuitive Impress. This is a collective reading. Don't try and force the crown to fit and might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take what resonates and leave the rest to someone else. Know that it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. This is a collective reading for Aries. Welcome Aries. Let's see. Let's see. Like if you want to or subscribe. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. Let's see what we have for Aries now. Looks like we have wish fulfillment. Your wishes are coming true here. Oh, it looks like your wishes could be that somebody's a little bit upset. Somebody's crying over spilt milk. Is that what you've wished for? Because somebody here is a little bit sad, disappointed. Looks like someone's kind of crying over these spilt cups down here, not realising there's two cups in reserve. So why would that be a wish fulfillment? It looks like you're very stable though, so things are stable for you. This is actually, maybe somebody's trying to hold on to you. Somebody's not wanting to let go and they're feeling sad about their missed opportunity. Somebody feels like they missed out on their wish come true. The challenge here is somebody's watching. Someone's watching very closely. Looks like they're seeing you as their happily ever after and they would want to have some kind of passionate new beginning. But somehow they're just watching. This is Libra Gemini Aquarius. This is the ha happy home, the family, the children. And this is a passionate new beginning. It looks like someone has a lot of passion for you. And they're just watching from wherever they are. But they're feeling a little bit sad about it. It looks like they want to hold on to you and they see you as wish fulfillment. Distant past, it looks like someone started out on a new job. This could be messages about money, financial stability. Somebody here was ready to take a leap of faith. Someone could have taken a leap of faith towards a new pathway, a new job, and they could be like a boss energy. Like this is somebody financially stable. This is masculine. Somebody places could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be Pisces even, since I said that. There's some kind of messages about some kind of job. Someone took a leap of faith towards some kind of business opportunity. And it looks like... They've taken a leap of faith in maybe another direction, looking like. Recent past looks like someone's wanting to return. Someone wants to come back here. Looks like someone would like to come and work with you. Somebody here, seeing the work you're doing and seeing that you're doing very amazing. This could be a past life connection, and this is also very burdensome for them. They feel a lot of burden, possibly because you are doing very well in your work. You could be actually feminine energy, the most amazing queen in the deck. Somebody could be Libra, Taurus energy, doesn't have to be. But this is giving birth to new ideas, new businesses, babies. This is actually somebody very um, abundant. Somebody who gives birth and just like the earth mother sort of thing. Like the mother and sort of like most beautiful queen in the deck. Somebody who embodies all the queens of the deck. Someone who is divine feminine. So someone who feels very burdened that they have not got their feminine. Looks like they see that you're doing very well. Thoughts. Your thoughts are happiness and joy. You're thinking about someone you feel a lot of happiness with. Looks like you're ready to move forward. This is Kent's energy. Page of Pentacles. This is actually what we had in the past. So somebody's thinking about their work situation. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They would like to work, start out some sort of new business, some sort of new job opportunity. And the future here is Knight of Cups. So somebody who's coming in to sweep you off your feet. Somebody who is actually wanting to be a knight in shining armour. And they would like to have a new cycle with you. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Somebody here would like a new beginning with you. And they see you as their happiness and joy. So somebody that could be also Leo. But that is happiness and joy. They would like a new cycle with you. And they would like to be a knight in shining armour. The Your fears. You're fearing that your ships are coming in here. Somebody's fearing their ships are coming in, which could be actually generational wealth. Looks like you've got fears whether or not you're going to be stable financially. Well, someone's got worries, worries about that. Knight of Pentacles. Looks like someone take, took very long, and it looks like that things are manifesting for you or for somebody, but someone's really moved very slowly. That's also someone dependable, somebody grounded, and also methodical. Other people see you as manifesting, so you are manifesting here, but it looks like you're manifesting some sort of conflict and disagreements, some kind of, you know, clashes here. 
but also you're trusting your intuition. So you're very intuitive. There's someone that's coming in that would like to cause some trouble and you need to trust your intuition with this person. It looks like your hopes. You're hoping for financial stability. This is actually kind of like being very good on your own, being, being kind of like um, tame the bird like you've tamed the inner beast, like the bird in your hand. It looks like you're coming into union. You're coming into union, celebrating, but you're actually single and, and actually independent. You could be moving jobs, house, or whatever. It looks like you've got a lot of passion. You, this is actually, you're feeling passionate about somebody who could be single. You would like to have a union with them, but also this is page of wands. So that's something you're very passionate about. There could be an age gap here. Some sort of good news. So this is the outcome here. Wounded warrior. Someone feels wounded. Somebody here would like to come and speak the truth. They would like to speak the truth. They would like to offer some kind of um, small friendship. They would like to start off small. They're not too sure about things. and They would like to come and speak the truth. But someone feels like a wounded warrior. Somebody here would like to offer like some kind of small token of love. But it looks like we have three energies here. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, masculine energy. Somebody here who has a lot of love here. They would like to come and offer something to this person who's actually a boss energy. This could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a business owner, someone who's doing very well financially. And we also have somebody here who is an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So there's two masculines and there's one feminine. Possibly someone feels wounded because there's actually three people here. And they would like to come and speak the truth here. But it looks like that we have two masculines and one feminine. So this could be that there is actually some kind of wounding. Someone would like to be offer a friendship, but they see that there's somebody else as well. So that's going to be interesting, whatever that is. So we have some Hidden Truth Oracle. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I know I messed up everything. I know exactly what I was doing. And we also have some romance oracle. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking, faith, and faith will bring you romance. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So that's all there is for you, Aries. Bye.